Hi, I'm Despa. Obviously, this is media artist of BA3. And uh, I'm here today with uh, LV Dan right now. <laughs> Mr. Saf one. What's LV? going on? All right, good to see you, bro. Um, the people have been asking for this one for a little while now, you know. Like, I get a comment and a tweet at least once a day, or twice mm -hmm. a day, saying, where's Saf one going? Where's Saf one going? Finally got you in here. And uh, it's your birthday as well. And strong. So uh, thanks for coming in on your birthday. Happy birthday, bro. Respect. How are you feeling? Nice. I'm gassed. I'm gassed. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready, yeah? <laughs> it's coming in. Like, nobody can see this. So it's just in with the liquor and everything. It's ready to pop. <laughs> you turning up already? Turning up, brother. All right, all right, all right. So we midweek, just before your fire in the booth, which is on Saturday. Saturday. 1st of February. So this is coming out on the first day. The fire in the booth is coming out on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, how are you feeling about that, bro? Um, I'm gassed, man. I'm waiting with them um, with all that date thing. It got pushed mm. back, but I'm waiting. I'm gassed. I'm itching. I ain't seen it myself, so I just want to see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I say a lot. I'm gassed. I'm gassed. You think it's a <laughs> shutdown. Yeah? It needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, after this came out. And for anyone that don't know, go on iTunes, pick up Saf CD, Saf Donis. But Saf Donis came out when? March the 3rd, 2013. Right. And that came out and blew Shut up the place. down. So what was kind of like your thought process behind Saf Donis, the music, the release? Like, how did you feel? You know what, yeah? Um, I didn't think... I didn't think about doing a CD. Like, when everyone was doing CDs, I weren't really thinking about that. Um, so, I was collecting beats and that for ages. How long was it around? Like, like two years. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I was. I, I was collecting beats. We were trying to get you in the studio for ages. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. saying. But when I heard like a sick beat, I'll collect that. Yeah. And probably like put a hook down. So when it got to the time where I took it serious, it was two years later, which was mm. late 2012, 12, right? kind of yeah, where yeah, yeah, yeah. bang, bang, banged it out. But I already had templates down. Yeah. And it turned into that. So it wasn't really a plan, it just, you know what I'm saying? Just, it was just the music came, mm, like, mm, naturally. Yeah. Because when you listen to it, remember we did the press release, and when you listen to it, it does really feel like a real representation of, of you as a person. It sounds like it's a, it's a collection of a lot of things that have gone on. Yeah, well, I, I, I writ it, I writ it at, like, obviously, when I'm writing tunes, I'm writing them at different times. Mm. So I'm feeling like that when I've written that one. A month later, I'm feeling like that. You know what I'm trying to say? It wasn't a thing like, I'm just in the studio trying to force it. Mm. That's how it come out like that. But I rather think that's the better way. That's the better way. I'm looking to do that again. Yeah, you mm. think you feel you feel like that's the Yeah, because you can't you can't do music. it real otherwise. You can get a subject in your head, but you ain't gonna say the the most you can say if it's not that time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you have yeah. to wait for that time. And like catch the emotion mm. properly. Definitely. So are you working on um, anything else? At I the got moment? tunes, I got tunes cranked away, but it's just about what I'm gonna do with them. Mm. So you got a name for the second project? Nah, I ain't gonna let no one out. <laughs> I ain't gonna let no one out like that. <laughs> so how, I wanna know, um, cause I think I met you in, uh, I would've met you 2008. Mm -hmm. First thing, the first one I met you was on some baseline dance with, uh, with Dead, Dead In fact, I've got that on camera. The very first time I met you. We when did, when did oh, in um, Q first. Club? That's the very first time I met you. Oh my, that was the first time? The first time ever. There's a video now? There's a video. And it's, we're it's, it's, on a, it's on a, that's on YouTube at the moment, but like me, I met you, obviously I knew Deadly, I met you, um, and that's obviously the first time I met you after that, we saw it out, things were staying fresh, but yeah. how did you get your start in, in music full stuff? Like, why um, did you, you even pick up the mic? You know what? You know what? KB, remember this? Okay. I could always be, there's, I could always do loads of things. Mm. Spitting was one of them, but KB was the geezer that was like, nah. Because obviously he was already in the game. See. So he was the geezer like, bro, just put this down. Yeah, and yeah. Um, he was going college at the time with um, Predator. Okay. Everyone knows Predator. He was going college at the time with Predator. And he lined me up with Predator. I remember Predator gave me a CD full of beats. So Predator gave you your first beats, is it? Predator gave me, the, like, you know, like the first officialness. Yeah, no yeah, one's yeah, got yeah. these beats yeah, then, yeah, like, yeah, 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 that yeah. kind of thing. And I picked that, yeah. um, what was it called then? Big Walk. Yes. Big Wok. Picked Big Wok and done a DSF one. In the game from there, college popping, and that bus tra popping. That track later on was the one that was Predator again, isn't it? Some madness happened with mad JME. That That's mad, that is. Mad thing. And, mad then thing. and then from there, what, you put that out and it was just... Just a mad thing? That was um, 
Bluetooth days. Okay. Bluetooth days. Back so, in the bus days. Mm, shut down from then. And that, what, what kind of tunes was that? Was that grind? Um, yeah, it was grind. So you started off on the grind first? You know what? Tell a lie. KB, I've done a tune with KB first, a hip hop tune called um, Slipping. That's on YouTube somewhere too. We've done a hip hop tune first. Yeah. The real fans will remember that. Then I done my own tune, but it was Grind. And it just went from there. And then Slipping's your first tune. Yeah, ever. Slipping's raw my first tune. So if you're on, if you're on YouTube, we'll me and KB, it. Slipping was my first tune. Safwan's first piece of music out it's there. It's there, it's there. The history. Um, and then from, I know I met you in the baseline dance. So did you ever do the baseline thing? Yeah, of course I did. Um, all right, then that's when I, I met Deadly after, I met Deadly after, um, I done, um, after their Safwan, I done another rap tune with KB, Shit's Not Easy. Then I done another grime spray out. I think it was, I think it was called Maniac Spray Out or something like that. Mm. But that's what got everyone, everyone gas, like older people and that gas. That's when I saw, I remember, I remember the day I saw Deadly and he was gas, but Deadly used to mob with my brother anyway, AD, yeah, DJ yeah, yeah. AD. He used to mob with the oh, NODB yeah, days. NLDB, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say? Course, course, course. So that's when he's saying, yo, this is your little brother. I remember when he first saw me, he was like, nah, forget that. And we went in the studio and it just went from there. How, how old were you then? Um, Bro, I don't know, man. Young, man. Defo young, like, 15 or something. Defo... Mm. Yeah, de actually, yeah, Defo around 15, probably just hitting 16. Just because me and Dad used to mob on the bikes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I think yeah, we were yeah. 16. So just before that. So you've been in the game a while. What, you're 23 today? Mm -hmm. 23 today? Ra sounds mad, isn't it? Yeah. Right? Is it? That's like the Ra been like, in the game? That's like the young seven years. In the game? <laughs> in the game? People know me for music. And, you, and obviously, the, the, the hype around you, at the moment, I won't, honestly, no, I won't call it hype, because it's not really hype, because it's just, it's kind of well-deserved. Hype's never, sometimes hype can come from just no bullshit. reason for mm. no reason. But it's like, it's a well-deserved buzz mm -hmm. around whatever you're doing right now. And why, why do you think you've got that kind of, that kind of buzz? Um, just realness, man, keeping it real, man. Mm. That's all it is, obviously. You know what it is too, like, everyone says to keep it real, everyone, you know what I'm trying to say, the main aim out there is to keep it real. It's easy to do it, but people don't do it. So when the clock that someone is doing it, like to their self, when mm. they go home and think, friggin' out, this geezer's really, it makes it even worse, you know what I'm trying to say? And yeah. the years of doing it, you know what I'm trying to say, it just added up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah. of those ones. Does it make, um, cause your life outside of music, etc. does it make it difficult for you to concentrate on music? Um, does what make it difficult? Like just the kind of the life that that you lead outside of music. Because um, some people they get distracted. Or when whatever. I'm talking about keeping it real, you know, I'm talking about it's anything that you're doing. Mm. It could be, it could be a conversation you had. Everyone didn't keep it real, but this guy kept it real. Mm. Like we all said, we was gonna. It. it doesn't mean no badness. Like people keeping it real don't mean badness. It could yeah, mean yeah, you know yeah. what I'm trying to say. Like there's a loads of avenues I've been down, yeah, yeah, and yeah. people have the same reaction. But that's because I'm. I, I'm not gonna be fake to myself, yeah, yeah, so I ain't yeah, gonna yeah. be fake to you. Yeah, you know, and those yeah. ones. So it just—it's one of those kind of. It's nothing to do with like. Nah, it's nothing to do with like music. And when I when I chose to do music, like, like I said in 2012, I'm doing music. That's what it was. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? That's all it was. Mm. Everything else went out the window. It's yeah. music now. And then from time you made that decision. Yeah, and that's what it is. You know what I'm trying to say? So, before, obviously, I did, sorry. No God. Before I didn't um, I didn't want to do music yet. I wanted to set up everything else. So I didn't want to do music yet. But how come? Because music, music's like um, football. You can be you can be the best at football mm. from school. Everything, blah 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 blah. You get scouted. Oh, go to that team. Bear things. I've been through that too. I've done that too. But you can get dropped like that. Yeah. Everyone in the team can be saying, can be phoning your phone saying, "Bro, how, how?" You know what I'm saying? So you can't depend on it. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to just make sure you learn life. Yeah, yeah. I learnt life, yeah, yeah. then went into music. So just make sure everything's set up properly before mm -hmm. that. So, you will stay fresh. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, are you guys working on anything at the moment set to come out? Yeah, we've been working on things. We went through our tunes the other day. We've been working on things. Mm. We've got a million things. We can let out three CDs now if we want. You know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, we're working on shutdowns and explosions and making history. If there's anything we're working on, that's what we're working on, innit? <laughs> We've gone past everything else, that's what we're working on. So how did, how did the Stay Fresh situation come about for you? Because um, 
I know the story, but I, you know, it's one of the things that through deadly the and you. Know. Yeah. This man. <laughs> No, I wasn't. I was. I wasn't trying to get the credit for that. To be honest, it was if you story. I wasn't trying to do that. I was just obviously getting yeah, the fans know yeah, the kind of yeah, the, the yeah, kind deadly, of history. Yeah, yeah, Being deadly's being deadly's dark. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how I joined Stay Fresh. Yeah. So is it like, obviously, Stay Fresh is a is a is, it's a team of very strong individual MCs. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult? Is it easy to be in the clique of that many people? You know what? Yeah. This is what this is what we know. Like. Mm. We're all the same. Like, we've come to realise that we are the same. Forget what everyone else is doing. When we get in the room, how the hell do we always go home thinking? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So we're just running with it like that. Yeah. It's one of those. It's not difficult at all. It's not difficult. We've learned, we, we learned how to work with it the first couple of weeks. Mm. So, that's, that's nothing. And when, when you get in the studio, it's Yeah, just no one's talking magic. over each other. Oh, nah, it's, it's all right, man. It's all right. We know how to do it. So we, uh, like I said, I've known you from 08. And back then, nothing much was going on in terms of musically mm -hmm. for... Well, there was Baseline. Obviously, there was Baseline. We were talking about, like, kind of like the grime scene and how that's come back in a resurgence and the hip-hop. Obviously, you do hip-hop, etc. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer to do hip-hop or grime? Like, which, which one do you prefer? Now, you know what, yeah? Um, this past year, I've realised that I think I'd rather hip-hop a little bit. You know, like, mm. well, you know what, sorry, I'm more comfortable on hip-hop. Okay. When it comes to writing bars and... I can have an hour studio session and get that tune done. You know what I'm trying to say? With grime, I don't want to sound shit. Mm. But it always ends up being kind of a long thing. I'll have everyone waiting because I don't want to sound shit. You know what I'm trying to say? But it's yeah, harder to fit everything together, man. You know what I'm trying to say? It's, it's one of those ones. Why, why do you find it more difficult? Is it, is it that hip hop gives you more space? You know what? Kind of just to tell the or... truth, to tell the truth, it's my brain slow down, man. It's all about your brain because remember when I used to write without mm. writing it down yeah, and all them yeah, things? Yeah, yeah. There was, there's things that like you, you have to keep, you have to keep keeping it warm. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. I've gone cold now when it comes to grime. I'm kind of cold, but hip hop is just it's too easy. It's, yeah, okay. it's just there. Yeah, yeah. I can just flow with it. You, you, know think, you think like you're getting a bit more response from your fans for the hip hop stuff or like? Oh yeah, even that. I, I realise too when I'm doing hip hop, it's the next thing. I'm getting mm. next kind of views. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like I don't know. People probably can't understand me on grime. <laughs> probably too fast. I get you, you know, there's, there's people that do say that though, that they can't really work out what the MC is saying, but when, mm -hmm. when it's hip hop, you can obviously absorb it all, and obviously the hip hop's got a bigger fan base anyway. Anyway, yeah, from, anyway, from yeah, oh yeah, even that, even mm -hmm. that. So, 2008, we're here now in 2014, mm -hmm. you're about to get this kind of like big Radio 1 boost on Saturday with mm -hmm. Charlie Slough. Mm -hmm. um, how have you got from kind of like the point we are now, or to, to where we were, and the scene. How do you think the scene's progressed yourself? Like, what do you think are the major things that have happened to, to get it to this point here? Um, bare things. What you want to start with? Fire in the booth. Yeah, we'll start. When it comes to fire in the booth, yeah. Um, to tap. Um, I defo big up JK on that. Mm. Defo. But when it comes to, I don't know. Charlie's been hollering for ages, like doing that Birmingham thing for ages. People have been tweeting. You know what? To tell the truth, too. KB was gonna get a fire in the booth. Like I've I've sent KB's music to Charlie Slough yeah, yeah. for a fire in the booth. Like when he when he last done all of that brum thing and everyone's he was gonna get a fire in the booth. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, recently I don't know. JK Defo opened some doors when it comes to that. Mm. Hundred percent. I don't think people are taking us seriously. But mm. I Defo thinking yeah. So talk about Birmingham and the Birmingham scene. And you've got obviously JK that's doing his thing now. Mm -hmm. You got obviously Stay Fresh. You got Invasion. Mm -hmm. Is the Kind of like, is there any competition? Is it more collaboration? I know, cause I know like fans look at it from the outside and like, oh, well, these men don't like this. This is, or whatever. I've been trying, I haven't had an interview before, so I've never been able to say it, but I've been trying to make people know from ages ago, I ain't in competition with no one. Like, I ain't in competition with no, if man, if I was in competition with someone, mm. you would know about it. Mm. Like, the whole place would know about it. Don't have, don't make your mind work about it. I ain't, I ain't in competition with no one. You know, when it comes to, I don't, none of us can stay fresh out in competition with no one. We're mm. doing our own thing. When it comes to um, JK and that, there was invasion, every, there was a little... Yeah, there, there was, was, there was, there there was, was certain start. little things going on, but I swear from the start of it, I've been trying to make man know, don't think it's that. Because yeah. if it was a problem, man would know it's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? But it's nothing like that, nothing like that at all. We're all working together anyway. I've got something coming, I don't even care, I've got something coming with JK soon. Yeah. JK, I've let it out, yes. <laughs> got something coming, you know what I'm trying to say? That's going to be big, so yeah. You work, you work with anybody else in kind of like... 
I'm even even nationally as well. I see so I see some people tweet you, sir. Oh, 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 I see some, <laughs> some people tweet you. Now like, I'm working with bare people. Yeah. Does yeah like bare things, like everyone that I rate. I'm gonna be working with. Mm. That's how it's happened now. Like I don't even need to say nothing. All right, all right, all right. Well, if you follow Saf on Twitter, which is at Saf on Stay Fresh, fresh. I'm sure you'll be able to work Everything at Saf on Stay Fresh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, everything. So you're the Instagram king right now. <laughs> like, shut down. <laughs> the shut down. The shut down king. Like, what makes you like wanna 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 shut down so much on Instagram? Now you know what it is, like, yeah. I woke up this morning, I was like, yo. Right. Um, Everyone, everyone does the Instagram thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you're sitting in your yard and you're looking and you're laughing, like, come on, don't do this. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I get pissed off, so I just, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Just show what's really going on. <laughs> <laughs> Our TDS levels to this shit. If you go on, uh, if you go on Seth's Instagram right now, you'll probably, you'll probably figure out <laughs> like what's going on and what's really going on. <laughs> <laughs> Where can you see? This thing that we're doing, because we built, we built up, we built up a scene now, like over the last few years. Um, where can you see, kind of like Birmingham, even even you, the UK, but like the Birmingham music scene? Where can you see it going in in the future? Um, far, mm. further than it's ever been. Where the um, where the young ones, where the young, active, firing, fresh mm. stories to tell that you've never heard before. We're the ones, so it's gonna go far. It has to go far. I um, I didn't, I wasn't sure about it before, but I'm definitely sure now. Yeah. Mm. What made you not sure about it? Um, because I thought at the start of all this shit, I thought like you really could get blocked out. Little things was happening, and I was like, oh, ooh, okay, mm. is it really like that? That's another thing why I didn't really take it that seriously. I was thinking, I don't give a shit about this stuff. I was, I was just having fun. If you don't want me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then I realized that pff, you can't stop it people know what's what and people will like what they want to like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? And I've, I've just caught it's a small world, man. Real recognised, real everyone, you know what I'm trying to say? The, the, the talented people take to the talented people. Yeah. So all around the world, it's just, it's, it's, there's no stuff in it now. Yeah, yeah. As long as we're here, there's no stuff in it. And did you ever find, did you, like you said, did you ever find it like difficult at the start to get into, you know, getting heard or whatever? Um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't really care at the start, like, Luckily, I was with Stay Fresh, so when I was doing other things, I would see, like, for example, I would see little things happening with Maca and that, like, mm. I was like, okay, it can work, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, mm. so I was lucky that I had that little heads up, so when I decided to take it seriously, there was already doors open, you know what I'm trying to say? That mm. I had to just walk through and then try to focus on anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think a lot of people will see that um, Mayhem's always around Stay Fresh, mm -hmm. right? You got kind of like Chiller, mm -hmm. Tornado, you mm -hmm. got the Grime Squad. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of like the the the, the extended kind of... Where like, is Nado? <laughs> <laughs> Nado was here. He's gone. He was here. <laughs> Large up my dog, T-Dog in the place too, DJ Talented, Mad One Music, make sure this is the year. Sorry, Despo, but this is the year we are. <laughs> so is that like, is that the extended family? Like, uh, of, like music kind Yeah, of? definitely, that's blatant. Yeah, definitely, 100%. Yeah, you said everyone's name, didn't you? You said everyone's yeah, name? Yeah, yeah, Oh, Bama. Bama, Trilla, Grind Squad, Mayhem, yeah, are family. You, are you guys working on any, any, any music between each other yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah, that's well just as... normal. This is what I'm trying to... This is the year. I can't even keep talking, but this is the year, innit? Mm. Like, we need to show it this year, and we are going to show it this year. And you mentioned Mad One Music as well, mm -hmm. and, and that's something, I think, you put Saft, Saft on this out, mm -hmm. on um, Mad One Music, which is your own label. Mm -hmm. what's, your, what's your plans? For that, is that something you're gonna be working on more this year? Or I've got it? bare plans, too much plans. Like, um, just gonna make it serious in it. Like, mm. it's, I can't keep talking. Like I said, <laughs> it's, it's it's a label though, and it's gonna be a label. You yeah. know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. So everything you know, what a label does, it will be doing. You got anybody involved in that? Uh, yeah, artist -wise yeah, now? yeah. Of course. Um, I don't know if I want to be saying names. I just want it to all look like a surprise. Like I said, DJ talented, family from ages ago. That's just normal. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, there's more people, definitely. Are you getting the um, something that I know? It's like you go in, you go, you going out of the country soon, isn't it? Um, yeah. Who are you going with? You talking about my personal one or the business one? The, the, the business one. <laughs> the business one is it Prague? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> you might be going. Are you going to to Paris? To oh yeah, of course, course, course. Have you got any kind of 
international response from fans because I always find that we get like we get views from here, we get views you know from what? here. Yeah. Because you, you got an active tour. Fucking um, so. Predator. I brought um, Predator took me to um, Amsterdam. That was last year too. Took me to Amsterdam. Yeah. Mm. He, he just had a booking. I'm just following. I'm the follower. Even Paris. I'm just the follower. But he took me to Amsterdam. People knew me and uh, him. He's a frigging king. Everyone knew he was, but yeah, people yeah. knew me and like, I didn't even touch Mike. As soon as I walked in, people were saying, what, I've seen you freestyling, I've seen your video, people talking. So, like, when it comes, it's a mad thing, and when I'm going, I'm going Paris, you know, I don't even want to say that either. You just let the cat out the bag. Well, no, I'm, I'm so trying I... to do shop downs this way, and you're letting cats out the bag. I'm saying, like... I know more than a lot of people have <laughs> it, so there's a, there's a, there's no, a reason why I asked you the question. The question was what? The question, the question was, have you got any international fans? Yeah, definitely. Did they interact with you on Twitter? Did you 100%, about... yeah, but I've got international music fans too. That people that yeah. do music, like they talk yeah. about studios and come to the studio. Oh, really? And, yeah, I swear down, so I'm going to try out that too this year. Do you find, you find Twitter is like a, a good tool for that, to connect with people? Yeah, it's the sickest, it's the sickest, but you know what else I've clocked too? Uh, Facebook. Mm. Is serious. Mm. Everyone's forgot about Facebook. Mm. Facebook's got the normal people and not the people mm. that think they're friggin' celebrities or yeah, yeah, all yeah, this shit. Yeah. Facebook's got the normal people on, so I'm uh, working with Facebook a bit more too. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've got a um, fan page too, so like my fan page, please. It's Saf One. Just like it. I see you. I see you interacting with your fans a lot on Twitter. I see some people don't do that. Do you think, do you think that's like an important thing for you to do? Yeah, with me, yeah. My fans make me laugh. You know what, not even fans, my supporters make me yeah, laugh. Yeah, like, yeah. they make me laugh. Like, I like, it makes my day go quicker talking to them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're like my bedroom, so yeah, I just mob with it. I don't need to think about that. Yeah, and you get a lot of support from them as well, yeah? Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Do you get, um, what's the weirdest thing or the most crazy thing a fan has ever said to you on Twitter or, or in person? Oh yeah, I got, I got, there. Um, you know which ones I like? I like the school ones. I've realised I'm in schools, <laughs> like teachers know who I am. We talk about their playing tunes and lessons and all this stuff. Mm. And, um, but I like the, um, the inspiration ones when people say, yo, you inspire me, man. Like, or, or like, yo, I saw you do that. Or, you know, I like yeah, them yeah, ones. Yeah. I like them ones because I know how they feel, yeah. exactly how they feel. Yeah. And it makes me want to carry on. Being an inspiration to people, mm -hmm. uh, how does that feel knowing that, <laughs> that, that you are out there kind of like maybe opening doors for other people that come behind you or et cetera? Is that something that, that's really on your mind a lot of the times, so or you just do it? Nah, like, I only start to think about that when I get them kind of tweets and that, and like, say if I'm alone. If not, I'll just brush it off and carry on doing what I'm doing. Like, but sometimes I do sit down and think, freaking out, man, this is serious, man. Mm. You need to watch what I'm doing, man. Like, you know what I'm, mm. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? So, yeah. Where do you want to go in music? Um, that. You see that question, yeah? If you asked me that like a year ago, I would have said a totally different thing. Like, it changes. I think, I think you would have done You know well. what I'm trying to say? It, I've asked you this question before, and I remember exactly where you we were. You know what I mean? It keeps changing. But I'm wondering now. Um, like, all right, now, yeah. Um, I can't see myself being that guy that's going to let out a thousand albums and uh, at the awards, and you know what I'm trying to say? I want to. Um, I just want to be a part of everything. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? I want to be a, anything what I can do. I want to be able to do it for people. One of those ones. That's all. I don't know. I, I don't know what lane that would be right now because mm. it could be anything. Yeah, it probably yeah, yeah, won't yeah. even be music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anything that I've gained and I know, yo, this is what to do. I want to like share that. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? So even if you don't listen to me, one day you're gonna watch and think, friggin' I was telling us this from then. Mm. You know what I'm saying? As in, like, follow the leader, etc. <laughs> follow the leader. <laughs> Have you had, like, one of the moments in music that you just thought, like, rah, like, that's, this is sick, this is amazing, like, one of the best moments you've had so far? Or what is the best moment you've had in music it, so far? It keeps, it, like I said, it just, it keeps coming, more things, more, mm. there's a load of things I can say, like, you know what was sick, though? Um, stay fresh, stay busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you weren't there, make sure you get the next one because that was hard and large up everyone that was there. I've said, I've said that. Like, I've been doing music now for like maybe 13, 14 years, bro. And to me, that was my favorite moment in music. That I've met a lot of people. I've done a lot of things, but knowing that we did that, we I know. Like, and it went and off. It went off as well. It like, went off. <laughs> Yeah, that was it. So if you weren't there, make sure you come to the next mm -hmm. one. There will be other ones. Stay <coughs> fresh, stay busy. The concert, we're mm -hmm. going to do more this year. Yeah. Um, are, you doing, are you doing anything with 
with the, the USG camp or anything like that? Um, well, we've we done something, it's supposed to be hitting the screen soon. Mm. There's something that we've done, yeah, but um, yeah, we're just, we're just going with the flow. Not no big plans, you know, I'm just going with the flow. Have you got anybody that kind of inspires you musically? Like, where do you get your, your inspirations from for your music? Everyone. Like, everyone, like, I listen to all sorts of shit. But like, I listen to all sorts of shit, yeah? And it, it's hard to explain, but like, I could use, I can, I can, it's hard to explain, like, my brain just does it automatically, like, I can, I can use something what a girl singer uses mm. in a shadow man rap bar. <laughs> But you won't be able to pick out what I've actually done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is because I've been rinsing this yeah, yeah, emotional yeah. tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> like, it's weird to say. I, like, I don't know if there's anyone out there like me, you don't know what I'm talking about. But Wait. it's weird to say. But yeah, I take from everything, man. Like, you have to take from everything. I just take from everything. I listen to everything. There's not one person that I'm thinking, oh, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. trying to say? There's, there's a load of things. What, um, that's, that's what I'm saying, actually, because there's times when. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, I know where you're going with this. <laughs> I know where you're going. Wait, there's times, the times, there's times when I'm on Twitter now, yeah. And I don't know if you know where I'm going to go with this, but you're listening to or you're talking about something that I think anybody that looks at like Safwan, the, the rapper, and yeah, we think some people, some people, does he know some people might call you a gangster rapper or this kind of <laughs> yeah, stuff, yeah. yeah. Like, they're looking for you, like, what? Sass listening to Blink 182 <laughs> or some or some or some mad music like that. Like, nah, yeah, do no. you think people kind of stereotype you in a way or? Um, I don't know. You know what? I think that's what made. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just doing my thing in it. If I mm. like something, I like it. That's just mm. it. That's just it. I ain't gonna think about it. That's just it in it. Like I don't think about them things. No one, no one makes me know. No, no one makes me know they're thinking weird of it. Yeah, yeah. If they yeah, think yeah. that in their own head, just think it in your own head. Nah, I've seen some people like, oh, I swear, that's Saf listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't think Saf would listen to this thing. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, people are people, and then when yeah, you listen to, I'm saying. you know, you're not just gonna be pigeonholed into. That's into one of those times. Thing. Remember when I told you that people go home and think, "Bring it out, man, my man." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it out. Yeah. I was hiding that. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of those times. <laughs> no, trust me, that's one of those times. All Keep right, so I would like, what can we, what can we expect from you um, this year? What do you want to tell people? What to get that's out now, or what's new coming out? And, and the ne last question after that, which I'll actually answer that one first. Um, Safton, this is out now. Stay Fresh EP is out now. Um, there's a load of things out now. I got, um, I got the Safton this tease out. That's the hashtag Safton this. Uh, stay fresh tees, obviously. I got um, real nigger advisory tees out. I don't know if you know about them, but they're all on the um, madonemusic.bigcartel.com. They're all on that site. But I've just made this one too. I don't know if you can one. see I it. I haven't even seen this one yet. But I know this definitely logo. levels to That's this one. Hard. I don't That's know if you hard. can see, but it's reflecting, uh, reflecting like them night the, trainers. The I got the F and the O. Okay. There's levels. This one's gonna be coming out. It ain't out yet, but this one's gonna be coming out too. Mm. Yeah. That's it for now. Uh, yeah. And it. my last question, the question I always, always ask people, is where do you see yourself in three, five, and ten years? And it could be music, it could be business, it could be anything. Like, I want to know, kind of. Three, five. Which one? Three, five, three, and ten. Three, five, <laughs> ten years. Like, what's we'll say Three to five years. Where do you see yourself? Three to five years. Um, three to five years. What year is that? <laughs> Basically, um, it's what, it's 2017 and then like, 2019. It, it's going to be certain beginning. Yeah. That's all. I can't, I can't say right now. Yeah. But big things. The only way is up. I ain't going to be going down. Mm. Just big things. That's it. I can't say, but big. That's it. And are you going to be? Because there's a lot of people that that just do music, or there's some people that do music and business. Do you think that you're going to be the kind of person that's going to do? That's what I do do. More business stuff. Yeah, that's what I do do. I, I control everything what I'm doing business-wise. You know what I'm trying to say? So mm. that's how I want to carry on. Yeah, 100%. That's what I'm trying to say. I could end up just a businessman in a suit every day. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, might get bored of all these people knowing my face thing. <laughs> to switch it up, get a beard and that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I'm going with the flow. All right then, Saf. Thanks for coming. Dog a dog. Happy birthday Thank again. Thank you for having me. All right. That was another episode of Me The Artist, one that a lot of people have been waiting for. Basically. And that's the end of the season as well. So um, catch us in a few months for the next next series, series two of Me The Artist. You're watching BA3, I'm Despair. See you later.